everybody, it's Crystal Lee again, and in today's video we will be talking about how to get all the legal aspects done for your very own fairy tale wedding cruise. The day your partner asks for your hand in marriage will be one of the most memorable moments you two will ever share together. This marks the next chapter of your lives, the start of something new. This is the start of something new. It feels so right just to be with you. The start of something new. Ah, oh, yes. The feeling of being young and in love and the butterflies and sparks you get. And that is definitely a moment I will never forget. But after all the excitement of getting engaged and starting the wedding planning, don't forget one of the most important things, and that's figuring out all of the legal aspects. You and your partner are responsible for obtaining a marriage license and bringing it with you to the location you plan to get married in. For example, I got married on the Disney Dream when it was stationed in Port Canaveral, so I was responsible for getting a Florida license and bringing the license with me onto the ship. This same concept would apply to all the other locations, whether that be at one of the other Disney cruise ports or Disney parks. There are many ways to go about this when having a destination wedding. For example, I live out of state, so when we spoke with our wedding specialist, she was able to provide us with a list of vendors who are able to assist us through the process. I'll list some of the options here, but I will also put this information in the description box below. Out of the list provided to us, my spouse and I chose License to Marry because they were very convenient for out-of-state folks and their processes were clearly explained. Once you make your decision on how you would like to obtain your marriage license, you will then need to fill out an application and provide two forms of identification. Be prepared to provide your driver's license, certified copy of your birth certificate, and or passport. The cost of the marriage license for us was $193.50. You can pay this via cash, money order, visa, or MasterCard. Keep in mind that personal checks are not accepted and the price is subject to change without notice. If you're out of state like us, there's no waiting period to use a license. But if you're a Florida resident, you must wait at least three days before the license is valid to be used. You have 60 days prior to your wedding date before it expires, so make sure you mark down that date on your calendar because this is one mistake you don't want to make. So on to another important topic, and that's a final piece to the legal aspects. Once you've had your magical wedding and get back to normal life, you're probably going to wonder, now how do I go about changing my last name? Well, if you do plan on changing your last name or getting it hyphenated, there are a few simple steps you're going to have to follow. Get your marriage license and certified copies from your vendor. Update your social security card by making an appointment at your local county's social security office. Once that's done, bring these items to obtain a new driver's license at the DMV. From then on, you can change the name on your bank accounts, change the name on your credit cards, get a new passport and travel documents. And finally, provide your new name and banking information to your employer. Once all of that is finalized, you will officially become official officially. Well, that's it for this video. Remember, my name is Crystal and I'm here to get your wedding plans on cruise control. We'll see you real soon, pal.